All right, no intro today. We are going right into it. I am starting off with the Hangover RX Primer by Too Faced. This is a super hydrating primer, and I love the way it just hydrates all day long and keeps my makeup in place. And then I'm going to go in with my favorite drugstore foundation ever. This is the Revlon Color Stay Whipped Foundation. I haven't used this in a long time, but I decided to bust it out for this. Um, I wanted something that would last really, really long. I actually wore this makeup look to a casino night with my husband, and I really, really just love the way it turned out. Um, so I wanted something that really lasted all night long and kind of stood the test of time, and I know and trust this foundation with everything because I wore it on my wedding day, and it was amazing. So I'm just blending that out with a beauty blender and just blending it out all over my face. Then I'm going in with a MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, another oldie but goodie. I just decided to bust this one out instead of my Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay. I love that one as well, but I've been kind of using this one lately. So I'm just blending that out with my Beauty Blender as well. Gives great coverage, and again, I can count on this concealer to last all throughout the night. Um, it does tend to crease a little bit, but I am going to set it with a powder here. Um, I'm actually going to set it with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I've been seriously obsessed with this stuff. Um, and yeah, I'm just patting that under my eyes with a fluffy brush. Then I'm going in with my favorite eye base. This is Max Painterly Paint Pod, and I'm just putting that all over my eyes to prime for some awesome eyeshadow that we are going to use. Pretty much use this every single day. Yep, every single day. All right, for this eye look, I'm using the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette as well as the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye palette. And I'm starting off with these two shades right here. It's a peachy shade and a really cool gray shade. I like the combo of these because the peach is a little bit warm and the gray is a little bit cool. The combination of these two together just give the perfect kind of blown out transition shade. It's not too deep either. I just, I love it. I've been using it pretty much for every look lately or even just alone. It's really a nice shade for your crease. And I'm just kind of buffing that all over with a big fluffy brush. Then I'm going in with this medium brown shade in the Kat Von D palette, and I'm going right over that transition shade, those two shades that I just used. Um, this is just going to give a nice layered effect. Um, it's not going to make my eye look so flat, and I really just like layering eyeshadows a lot. Um, just keep on layering and blending, and you'll get a really pretty effect. So I'm just blending that in the crease. Then I'm going in with this darker medium brown, um, and I'm actually going to put this on the outer corners of my eyes. Um, I'm kind of just tapping it on and then blending it out right away, and I am blending a lot. Um, I'm taking my time to really buff this out because I am going to go in with a slightly deeper shade on my lid. Um, I want this really, really blended out. Then I'm using the shade Suspect from Naked 2. Um, I love this shade. It's a beautiful bronze shade, and it's not very warm. It's like a perfect kind of almost taupey brown shade. I don't know. I really love it with blue eyes. Um, it definitely makes my eyes pop a little more, and I'm just going all over the lid with that, blending it all the way out to the outer corners. Then I'm going to go back with that medium brown and the big fluffy brush, and I'm just going on the outer edges of everything just to kind of soften everything and make sure everything's blended together.
for a brow bone highlight I'm going in with that Kat Von D shade it's like a cream nice bone shade and I'm just going on my brow bone with that Then I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay um, Eyeliner Pencil, Glide On Pencil, whatever it's called, in Zero, and I'm actually going to tight line. I've been doing this a ton lately, I know, in like every tutorial, but I really have been liking the effect of it. It really irritates my contacts, but I suck it up because I like the look of it. Um, so I'm just going in and tight lining with that. Then for eyeliner, I'm using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liners. <laughs> Big surprise here. I pretty much use it every single tutorial, but I really really like it. Um, I am going to go and just give myself a little wing there. Um, not a dramatic one because I really I love the deepness of the bronze on my eyes. I want the focus to be there and not on a big dramatic cat eye. So I'm just making a really Then for brows, I'm going in with the It Cosmetics Universal Brow Pencil. I've been really digging this lately. I like the shape of the actual pencil. It's a little bit thicker than the Anastasia Brow Wiz, um, but I like it. It gets the job done, and I really like the color of it. So I'm just filling my brows in with that. It gives a little more of a dramatic effect to my brows, um, a little bit thicker. And I kind of like that for this look. It's, it's really pretty. So I'm just going in with that pencil and then I'm just going to kind of spoolie it out. I did also set it with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, but I didn't show that. So yeah, I did that too. Then I'm going in with the Anastasia Contour Kit and I'm using that middle shade and this Sigma brush. I love this brush for contouring. It's so just natural and pretty. And I'm just going in the contours of my cheekbones there. Then I'm going in with the NARS Laguna Bronzer on top of that. I kind of go bronze crazy with this look because I have such a bronzy eye. I'm just, I, I went crazy with bronzer. So I am going in over that contour just to blend that out. And then on the temples on my forehead, just kind of everywhere, just kind of fluffing bronzer all over. Then another bronzer, <laughs> going in with the Hourglass Ambient Bronzer in Luminous Bronze Light, and I'm fluffing that on top of that. So yeah, this is a really bronzy, glowy look, but I really like the look of all this, all these bronzers kind of like layered together. Um, it's just really pretty with the eye look. So yeah, I went bronzer crazy. Then I'm using the NARS um, Luster Blush, and I'm just popping that on my cheeks. Again, a really pretty blush that goes with all these crazy bronzers. Then I'm using that Suspect shade again and just kind of blending that out under my lash line with a pencil brush. For mascara, I'm going in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Um, I've said this a couple times already. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this mascara because it tends to just fall all over my face and give me big panda eyes and I don't really like that but I do like the effect it gives um, so I actually use this and I kind of go over it with another mascara and for my bottom lashes because it does fall I am going in with this MAC I think it's called the zoom zoom lash mascara to um, my lower lashes there then I'm going in with the ever so loved Champagne Pop by Becca for my highlight. Um, I do tend to find that I need to really blend this out because it can get a little bit chunky and very intense if I don't blend it out like pretty well. So I'm just going up my nose and the center of my forehead. Then I'm going to prep my lips here. I'm using the Maybelline Baby Lips and I'm kind of just smearing that all over my lips and then I'm going to kind of wipe some away to prep my lips for 
what's going on next, which is the MAC Whirl Lip Pencil. And I love this pencil. It's like the perfect lip liner. I love the shade of it. It's gorgeous. And it pretty much goes with every lip I do. And now that I look crazy, I'm going in with the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Midi. Um, ever since I got this, I have been obsessed with it. It's a gorgeous nude color. And the trick to applying these is really go in thin layers. Um, so I apply a very thin layer and then I just keep going with thin layers until I like the look of what I see. Um, and it easily blends into that lip liner um, and it doesn't bleed when I use that lip liner either. So I really like the look of this combo um, and it kind of looks crazy at first, but when it all blends together it's a very very pretty natural lip and honestly these ultra matte lips last all night long they do get a bit drying so I do apply a lip gloss um, throughout the night but besides that it's just a gorgeous lip and it literally will last me all night long so I'm just going in very very thin layers to apply All right, you guys, so that is the look, and I am going to be doing a hair tutorial coming up um, on this hair look here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look and look forward to the hair tutorial coming soon. Thanks, guys.